welcome to Travel Bubble and to our port stop in Zeeburger, Belgium. After being on P&O cruise ship Aurora, we headed off on the shuttle buses to the seaside town of Blankenburg to get a train into Bruges for the day. The train was packed with cruise passengers ready for self-guided explorations and with a return of just five euros, it was a better offer than the short excursions transport from the boat itself. An easy 20 minutes walk from the train station down cobbled streets led us to Bruges Historic Centre surrounded by canals. Many short boat cruises are on offer here, but as we'd already spent enough time on a boat, we walked into the centre through Berg Square and to the Belfry of Bruges. There is only one ticket machine outside, and to climb the tower you have to choose a time slot. We were lucky to have space for in just a few minutes' time. There was a curling concert playing as we ascended the 366 steps to see stunning views of the surroundings. Near the top of the tower, you could view the person playing the carillon on a keyboard that 47 bells are linked to. After all that climbing, it was time for a Belgian waffle, with the House of Waffles offering savoury and sweet options with a variety of toppings. The day was moving quickly, so we headed through Mark Square, taking in the architecture and horse-drawn carriage rides. Passing chocolate shops and canal bridges, we ended up at the Jan van Eyck Square, the area where ships bought international trade. We spotted the Porter's Lodge, a meeting place for the rich and more important members of the Bruges society. The bear here is a symbol of the city. There was also a museum about chocolate, the Choco Story, it has a free audio guide to hear about the chocolate story and how it came to be so popular over a 4,000 year history. After exploring the museum and learning about the story, you get to see a demo and of course have a small sample. It was time to leave and head back, but we had to walk fast and get rains on to reach the other side of the city just to see some traditional windmills. We rushed past Cruiseport, one of the remaining city gates, and back down Langstrat past market stalls artists and musicians. No time to stop for a Belgian beer or fries unfortunately, we'll just have to come back another time. We just about made the last train that would take us back to Blankenburg and the shuttle to the ship. We hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next adventure.